Society requires certain education and training for certain professions. This is to try to ensure that people excel in their jobs. Can you give an example? To become a surgeon, you'll need to go to four years of undergraduate school, four years of medical school, and then spend a couple of years in residency and fellowship training. Surgeons need specialized training in whichever field they're in, and they also need to be highly knowledgeable about the human body to help keep people healthy and ultimately save lives. You wouldn't want to trust your body and life with a surgeon who has no education or experience. Would you? Why do different jobs require different education and training? There are plenty of reasons why, but the most important is to ensure that you have a good foundation to excel in whatever job you do. For example, someone who wants to become a licensed psychologist will need to complete a PhD because they need to have a thorough understanding of the field they specialize in, as well as practical experience and training in that field. On the other hand, if you want to be an electrician, your training would be far different. You would either enroll in a vocational school or do an apprenticeship to learn from somebody who is currently working working in the field. Picking a job based solely on its salary may not be the best career move. Why is that? There are many other factors to consider when choosing a job, like how many hours you work per week, what type of benefits the company offers, how the job aligns with your strengths and skills, and how much you enjoy what you're doing, just to name a few. So are you saying that I shouldn't try to make a lot of money? No, go make as much money as you desire if that's your priority. It's important to know what your top values are, as that will help you decide what job or career path to pursue. Your job pays a certain amount of money, either hourly or yearly, and that's known as a salary. But there are other factors that affect your earned income. How much you actually take home. What factors affect your earned income from your job? First, there are employer benefits. Different companies offer different benefits to their employees. There are many possible benefits, but one includes paid vacation time. Another factor is taxes deducted from your paycheck. Although your job may pay $50,000 per year, you won't receive that full amount, as your company will take taxes from that before they pay you. Company culture is a huge factor in deciding what job to choose. You want to choose a job where the people are nice and treat you like a human being. Are you implying that there are jobs that don't treat you like a human? Oh, absolutely. Sadly, there are many jobs out there where employees are treated terribly, and that leads to a lot of workers feeling disgruntled. Disgruntled, look it up. So how do I find out about the company culture before I accept the job? You'll get a good idea of it during the interview process. You can ask friends or family who have done the job, and you can research it online, but you won't know for sure until you actually start the job. Once you start the job, once you get a peek behind the curtains, you'll find out very quickly what the company culture is really like.